Have you just looked at your clock, or how do you remember exactly? No, the weather. Like I said, I was watching the news, and that's what time the weather comes on. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you know what kind of gun it was? It's the gun. Was it black or silver color? I think it was black colored. What about the man? I said, yes, the whole trial would have been over. The damn kid did do it. Come on, Gab, you don't really believe that. Do you? I don't know, Jack. I mean, just because he didn't admit it, if you commit a crime, you don't, you don't need to deny it. But that, that's just great. That's all we need, one nut on the jury like you. I mean, this reasonable doubt stuff makes me crazy. I mean, uh... Our daughter's dead. Where's the reasonable doubt? Huh? Where's the reasonable doubt? Are there any other You're late, aren't you, soldier? Who we went for pizza? Don't give me pizza. Your orders were to be here at 11. Now it's 11.37. No more dates for you, Private Yankee. I don't care how good a dancer you are. I saw you out there. You're grounded. Is that understood? Huh? Good grades this semester, Donnie boy. Yeah, so you guys can send me to the academy. That's right. And Congressman Darcy and General Bryan can help us. But you gotta do your share, Trooper. Yeah, like you did. Don't say that, Donnie. Why not? Aren't I supposed to be a flag waver, too? Yeah, that's enough. Aren't I supposed to carry on for you and Dad? I'm sorry, Donnie. I shouldn't have hit you. You know, I can get you Heineken. PX. No. I think this stuff has probably killed people. I like 33. And you must be tough. Hmm. What's your view? You must tell me. Do you think the South will be able to hold on? That's my job, to judge that. That's precisely what I'm doing here. Well, I've enjoyed talking to you. Thanks for the beer. Then we gotta talk about some things. Let's talk later. No, I think we better do this before the kids get back. Come here, woman. Can I eat this? No. I saw Dr. Willis yesterday. And he said the cancer is spread. He, he took some x-rays. And he said it looked bad. What does that mean? It means I'm gonna die. Don't say that, because you're not going to die. Don't even think like that. We have to make plans about what we're going to do, because he says it's going to go fast. Lucille, you're not going to die. Don't pretend this is not going to You're gonna not going to die. Help. I promise you. But you're always promising me things. You can't promise me this one. It's just doctor talk, silly talk, and I don't want to hear it. Stop it, will you stop it? This one time, will you listen to me? We have to talk about the kids. Are you bringing your stinking old friend to my hanging? He didn't enjoy seeing it, all right. Should have caught him and cooked him when I had the chance. I'd have killed you for it, if you had. I raped women and stole children and burned houses. And shot men and run off horses and killed cattle and robbed who I pleased. All over your territory. And you never even had a good look at me. Until today. I don't reckon you would have killed me. Hey, what's happening, man? Hi. I'm here to see, uh, Captain Jenko. Yeah? All right. Is he here? Yeah. Yo, autograph. Well, uh, could you tell him Patrolman Hanson is here? I, uh, don't want him to think I'm late. 
Hey, you ain't late. You like that sound? Not really. Me neither. Praise God. Hallelujah. Maybe I'm saved. Been a deadhead since Woodstock. I didn't get the lady with the food. Ah, I say, come on, I'm starving. <laughs> please. Oh, please, please, pretty please. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, you're hungry. Mm -hmm. But tell her I didn't get these to see. No, you were didn't. hiding them. Yes. <laughs> You know. mm -hmm. What is it about this time of day? Well, I think it's just made it safely through another day. Mm -hmm. Now we're back home together again. And ours as well. For instance, is not state issue, nor this, nor this. The laundry will only launder state issue underwear. Copy that. We wash one shirt and one pair of pants per man per week, plus one set of regulation underwear. I repeat, we do not launder personal underwear or socks. Why? Who said that? Beats me every time. Bullock, tell me when you come out of the tunnel with a lease. Patrick, you'll finish the game later. Go ahead, Patrick. I want to speak to the doctor. No. Yes, sir. I'll finish in a minute. Up back and don't just point the missiles at some other country, or we bring out our forces and sink the Ulysses. Sir, that's a hundred men and a billion dollar submarine. Is the president prepared to make that decision? He'll have to. Those nukes cannot be launched. It wouldn't only be the end of DC, the fallout will poison the Atlantic, and the airborne will hit Europe. Unless the wind's blowing the other way, in that case, the continental United States becomes a vast wasteland. Could use another plan. Yeah. Oh, a little more than a month. I took the job in the middle of October. What floor do you work on? Uh, the second mostly, but sometimes I had to fill orders on the other floors. What floor were you on when the president was shot? I was on the first floor eating my lunch. And what floor were you on when the police officer stopped you right after the shooting? On the second floor, in the lunchroom. I'd gone up to get a Coke. Why'd you leave the building after that? Well, with so much excitement going on and all the confusion, I didn't think there'd be any more work for the rest of the day. Where'd you go when you left work? Went to my rooming house, changed my clothes, got my pistol, and then I went to a movie. I suppose it was your dog. No, I don't have a dog. That was a joke. Oh, you're funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, listen, if you're stranded or anything, uh, my old man's coming and we could give you a lift, you know? Okay. Thank you. Where do you want to go? State Mental Hospital. Oh, that's a little far. <sighs> anyway, it's past visiting hours, isn't it? I live there. Some of you that rides with me ain't gonna come back. But those of you that do are gonna earn the thanks of your loved ones, your country, and those of you that stays behind. How many men are you looking to sign? As many as I can get, son. As long as they got the stuff the soldiers are made of. What's that, sir? The eyes of a fox, the strength of a blacksmith, and the wiles of a riverboat gambler. Well, tell me where to sign. You sure about this? Yeah, it's the right thing to do. Yeah! You, you see how it falls? Look. See that? See? Passion. Here, here, you do it. It's not what I mean. See that? That's passion. Now you got passion, you dig? In fact, you got so much passion, those shoes might just get up and just kick you in the ass, lady. All right already, I see. Well, you better. 
because right now she's nursing a shiner about as big as a good-sized cow patty. <laughs> I just I wanted to show you that I can be pretty too. For God's sake, let the man finish what he has to say, Estelle. Sorry, Go on, please, uh, Travis. Well, anyway, what I was going to say was, uh, I sense from what you told me that uh, you could use a little cash right now. Oh, that's the truth. And which one of us can? We are going to give Daddy $12,000. Shut up. Just shut right up. Is your uncle a rich man? <laughs> well, he is to me with all that land, but he says he's not. He's always talking poor mouth. How much influence do you have with him? Not a hell of a lot. Why? Well, I hate to see greed kill your deal. As a man who has survived one less than ideal marriage and raised a daughter who's never listened to one word I've ever said, I suggest you, uh, let him get it all out. You know, a little crying, a little yelling. Otherwise, someday he may blow his neck. It's good halftime therapy. Why don't you let me decide that one, Coach? Thank you. A lot of people think I'm just a dull, boring, pencil-pushing number cruncher. Oh, well, you're not. Where is it? Right here. This is in your pocket? No. My heart. I'm in love with you. <laughs> in love with me? <laughs> no, no. Infatuated, perhaps, or... Or maybe just beguiled, but I mean, what, what you and I have is a working relationship. It started out that way, but then it grew. Don't you feel it too? Now you see, that's infatuation. Remember I studied a uh, major in radio and television when I was in college, and we used to watch uh, John Frankenheimer's films, all his Playhouse 90s and all the television he did. Uh, and that was part of our studies, to watch his shots and how he did it and everything. So I couldn't believe it that there I was in the same room meeting this guy that was, uh, to me, was one of the greatest directors uh, in the world. I've done a lot of independent films that never, you, they never see the you know, light of day. They just make them and they're gone out there somewhere. And, and, but uh, this was a very unusual uh, deal. Are you all right, honey? I'm coming. Carly, I'm looking for the camera. I can buy sheep anywhere, anywhere, any place. Now this flock is yours. I'm just here in case you want to reconsider. Reconsider? Why should we? Oh, Pete's full-time farmer. He couldn't cut it. Ever think about that? We're aware of the risks. Well, that's a good thing, because I'm sure you've tied up a good deal of money. Hey, you want me to tell them about your business? Pastures you're grazing that ain't yours? <laughs> You know, Pete, you sure got a lot braver since you stopped working for me. I hate to interrupt these pleasantries, gentlemen, but we are on a schedule here, and thanks a lot for your concern, Sam. All right. Well, nice meeting you, neighbor. Come on, boys. Let's leave. You call this a government? I ain't gonna stand for it. I got rights just like everybody else. What kind of government is it takes a man's son away from him, huh? I mean, for two cents, I'd leave this here country and never come back. Call this a government. Call this a government! Read Buddy. this sign. I reserve the right. Now take a hike. Make me. Take it easy, Mary. Take it easy. Oh, Jesus. 
Come on, make your play, make your play. Would you just come on? I don't need this shit today. Fucking redneck. <laughs> Fascist! <laughs> Fucking faggots! You believe this shit! Because it isn't greasy doesn't mean it's bad for you, dodo. It's yuck. Yuck. It's yuck. <laughs> You're a yuck. Oh, God, I'm gonna die! Julie, what are you doing? Are you all right? I mean, really, I did to the max. Hi. 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 Randy, this is my dad. <laughs> Steve Richmond. What's happening, man? How's it going? Foreign. How, how you doing? Great. It's great. He wants a sandwich. All right, yeah. We found this map in your apartment, because you can see it's a street map of Dallas. Could you explain why you've marked an X in the area of Dealey Plaza? This map is a map I use for job hunting. Each X represents a place where I applied for a job. The X at Dealey Plaza is a place where I finally got work. Here, you want your map back?